and welcome to UNESCO News. Today we're going to visit the Sunda Island Coral Reef. Sunda Island is a coral reef in Indonesia between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. We're going to this reef to discover the threats of this reef. There are global threats on the reef as well as local threats. The islands are divided into four countries, Brunei, East Timor, Indonesia and Malaysia. Much of the islands are in Indonesia. The team will be going to Sunda Island to examine how endangered the coral reefs are. Our diver will be speaking to someone who knows more than anyone what the reef is really like. Over to Tally and our special guest. I'm going to find new milk. <gasps> to me what coral is. The main types of coral is fringing reef. This grows direct, directly from the shore and borders surrounding islands. Another example is barrier reef. This protects the shoreline. It's found in the tropical Atlantic and Pacific. Another example is atolls. Circular oceanic reef systems surround a large deep central lagoon, mostly in mid-ocean like, like an island. Have any weird fish friends and what are they called? Frenchy, the French anglefish. Spotty, the spotted eagle ray. Fly, the flying gurnard. Grey, the grey anglefish. Queenie, the queen anglefish. Parry, the parrot parrot fish. <laughs> <laughs> P, the peacock flounder. Lionfish, sandy shark. Spotted moral eel and the clownfish. My dad. Where do you live, Nemo? Island is a coral reef in Indonesia between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. We are, we are going to this reef to discover threats on this reef. There are global threats on the reef as well as local threats. Sunda Island is divided into two great Sunda Islands and the lesser Sunda Islands. The islands are divided into four countries Brunei, East Timor, Indonesia and Malaysia. Much of the islands are in Indonesia. What threats does the reef face? It face weather related damage frequently. Large and powerful waves from hurricanes can break apart or flatten large coral heads. Coral growing in very shallow water are vulnerable to the environmental hazards. Shallow tides can expose them to the air, drying and killing them. Coral can get psychologically stress that they begin to give off their substance which leads to be bleaching and death. Global, global threats include oil spills and pollution by changes of the temperature in the sea. Local threats can involve tourists that take the, the coral illegally, fishermen who drag iron bars along the seabed ripping the coral and killing fish means that coral cannot thrive. Your reef being damaged already. How is it being damaged and how can your reef be protected? Jeopardised by the threats of global warming, which kills coral and has bleaching effects. Sunda Island is one of these reefs because of its location. While tourists cannot improve global warming, many countries that own coral reefs have established a no-take rule, which helps a re which help reef to recover from bleaching. Another way to protect the reef is clearing be beaches of rubbish so no more can get into the sea as that can damage the reef. Also getting boats to avoid the coral reef area of the ocean can help to stop the reef being damaged as the boats can drag their anchors over it. Thanks Nemo, you've been a great help to us in telling us about your coral and your family and friends. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye, Nemo! Bye.